We live, baby. Graph Champs. Season 2. What it is, baby. I'm your host. I saw the king vertical, vertical, squirtical, squirtical, squirtical all over your girl's biz act. You heard? Let me throw on my theme music. Diablo, SR the general, full blast the beat, God, Grav, Champ, yeah, Grav, Champ, uh, Lou, Grav, Champ, yeah, Grav, Champ, uh, live, live. shout out the Grav Champs, shout out the Grav Champs, shout out the Grav Champs, Grav Champs. Yo. Shout out to Graf Champs Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Graf Champs We appreciate the love and support for all the Graf Camps The most amazing and iconic artists out here Smashing it from the train yards to the rooftops To the storefronts, highways, catch a wreck That's all the general He be going crazy, bro, from his Instagram account Supreme clientele radio Interviewing all the icons The ones that led the way Salute to all the fallen legends The ones that set the stage Moment of silence, let us remember those whether they family or they were friend or foe uh, uh, Pay them a love them, let's show them some respect Major contribution in hip-hop, grass chance to the death Ready and willing, never scared to fry Enough. Chance in the odds of getting up, prepared to rise Super talented vandals, never scared to nope. die Let's show them love while they breathing Go ahead and share the love, share the love. So tell a friend to go and tell a friend tell a yeah. Interviews are dope from the start up to the end To the end Let's show him love and call it glory time. Repost his post on your post. Share his post up on your storyline. So tell a friend to go and tell a friend. Tell a friend. Interviews are dope from the start up to the end. To the Let's show him love and call it glory time. Repost his post on your post. Share his post up on your storyline. <laughs> That's all the God General. Grab champs. Full blast music to beat God. Straight 16. Straight to boss of bosses. 4-5 to God, put your boys, Rap Cinema, Supreme Clientel Radio, A1s, Joe 21, Rap MBK, yeah. Joker, Nico, White Onyx, 2 on 3, Juice Branch G, Diablo, The Authority, nothing but Kings, salute to all the legends, dead and alive, salute baby, it's what we doing baby. Grab champs. We out. Salute to everybody in the motherfucking live. Yo, shit alive. We got some legendary shit about to go down. You heard? We got ZB coming up, the motherfucking placement king. And we got Bow, a tunnel king, my nigga. Shit is about to get live. Salute to everybody in the motherfucking building. I see the numbers going up. But shit alive, shit alive, shit alive, shit alive. Um, I want to salute to my nigga Diablo, F Boom. My motherfucking Straight 16 family, the Butcher Boys, <clears throat> um, everybody, Supreme Clientele, radio app, um, everybody that supports Graph Champs, bro, I, I appreciate all the love, yo, salute my nigga fucking A1's in the building, salute Roach in the building, what it is, baby, RGN, you heard I see a lot of legends in the building too, yo, salute, damp, yo, my, my bad, I missed your call and shit, I was eating, I'll holla back at you later, um, I vandalism, I, 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 I appreciate your support, my nigga, free send, my nigga, send, this nigga, yo, salute, my nigga, hold your head, you heard, we got you, my nigga, fucking, um, I see my nigga Tark in the building, yes sir, share the live, I see the numbers going up, go, share, share, share the live, share the live, I'ma put, I'ma put the other Graph Champs intro too, just cause I'm narcissistic like that, you heard? Shit alive, get these motherfucking numbers up Cause Two Legends is about to drop jewels That only that they that they could drop If y'all niggas miss it, y'all niggas is squares That's a fact Where's my other Damn, Lee I fucked up Where's my other graph champs I gotta delete some of this shit, bro Shit, this, this, this is crazy, dude It looks the same, everything Damn, son, I fucked up. Yeah, I'm trying to find the graph champs. Yeah, yeah, we got legends in the building. You heard Bow, my nigga. Come on, son. I know y'all niggas want to see Bow. Y'all niggas seen that in every train station, every tunnel y'all went. Anytime y'all took the train somewhere, you seen a Bow something somewhere. You know what I mean? Is that true? Do you feel like that that's true? 
know what I'm saying? That that nigga's a straight transit king. That only tunnel. Salute to my nigga Joe 21 in the fucking building. Salute to Funk in the building. I see you, boy. You know what I'm saying? What it is, aim? Yeah, bow, nigga. B R H, nigga. Uh, uh. Damn, I'm trying to find the fucking. Shit alive, shit alive. Yo, Z, you in the building? <clears throat> All right, my niggas. You know what? Let me stop fucking around. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get my nigga Z B in the building real quick. And niggas could thank me later, bro. I just threw you the invite, Z. This is the placement king of New York, bro. I know you ain't see if you ain't seen a ZB throwy, I don't know where the fuck you been at, cause this nigga's everywhere. That's a fact. Yo, Z, where you at? Salute put in the building. I see you vertical. Salute Joves in the building. What it is, TDO, mad love, my nigga. Come on, where is it at? Where you at? Where you at, Z? ZB invited. Yo, I gave you the invite, Z. Damn. You got to accept the invite. Let me see. Boom. Boom, boom. Invite. I just invited Juzi again. What you got to do is accept the invite. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Here we go. You got ZB in the building. Yo, you hear me, Z? Yeah, what's popping? Yes, sir. All right, before we start this shit, I got to give you the introduction, bro. This dude right here is just a, a phenomenon in New York City. You heard just in art and graffiti, period. This is one of the most creative, most sporadic, most street-killing ass nigga right now and si since you came out, my nigga. So... I just want to I, I just want to tell you that you've been doing your shit so hard. Your shit is just so crazy. We 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 happy that you're on here, and we we thank you for your presence. You heard? Appreciate that. Appreciate that. I right, so so how we do it? And the fans want to know the story from the beginning. So we're gonna start from the beginning. Um, what got you into graffiti? Spray paint. Seymour, the nigga who made the spray can. I mean, um, the trains, for one, being a kid traveling on the train, seeing the insides, the outsides, things of that nature, you know. All right, but uh, so what about art? You was already uh, always into art? You Was you born an artist, creative? I learned how to do art from one of my older cousins and my, my second grade teacher. She showed me how to draw fucking, what's his name? Barney Rubble. <laughs> so so you've been so you've been into graph since since when what year what year i've been into graph since 92 92 all right all right and who was who was your influences like what 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 got you like did you did anybody like like you see the repeated same names and was like oh all right, i need to do this because i want to be like this person that person like seeing the shit on the trains, that's like what grabbed my attention, like the colors and like just the shit that was like rolling. Like, wait, what? Like they're painting this shit on the trains, like the insides, you know, the stains. But I was at a, where, where I was at? I was at a concert and fucking in Prospect Park with my family. And I seen a JA tag in the middle of a building. And like, I knew that shit wasn't supposed to be there. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck is that? Like, I like that shit. Like, that's something I want to do. And I figured out how to do it, and I did it. How 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 you figured out how to do it? 
a study, uh, magazines, books. Like back in the days, like you go to like you go to scrapyard before with scrapyard. That shit was called Soho's Hat, and like you could get books, you could get magazines, you could even rack books and magazines, and like to learn this shit. That's a fact. So study, who's that? Study. You, you gotta study. So you gotta do the homework. It's That's like a fact. That's like one thing. You, like if you listen to rap and shit, like you want to know who's the best. Like you want to know who got the knowledge, who got the bars. Like who's who? Who's gonna be here forever and who's gonna be here for six? You know. <laughs> Yeah, that that's a fact. A lot of a lot of um guests on the show, they make it a point to say that a lot of uh, of the niggas coming up, they don't know their fucking history or don't even bother to know their history. That's a come they they you know niggas be side busted and you already know how these niggas be doing. They 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 don't give a fuck about the history. To them, it's all about fame or whatever. So you saying that you studied from the beginning, that just shows that you was really serious about the shit like that. How how did you come up with your tag? Yo, people have seen kill shit as a kid, like in my neighborhood, like they name don't get mentioned a lot because people don't know about them but when i do get a chance like the name drop i do bring these people up like d rock tdh vio tdh a b bmf en bmf those dudes like in my neighborhood like they used to kill shit fatal nfo cesar chrome nfo and when I used to go outside of my borough, I used to see people like VFR, I used to see Chino, BYI with the big black tags on the top of the store gates, Kaz and Abuse, JP, Chad, Rule, different places, different things I've seen. And that shit inspired me to do the things I like to do. Word. Nice. Yo, um, you named a lot of the motherfuckers that 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 I love seeing coming up too. That made me want to write, bro. Chino was one of my niggas, bro. Chino V for all of them niggas, fucking um. But, but how did you come up with ZB? How did you get that tag? Nobody wrote it before. <laughs> Yo, your your throwy, um, speak about I the want, one I line of throw. I wanted my shit to be original. I wanted my shit to be unique. Like, I want people, like, when they mention my name, like, yeah, ZB, like, that dude was one of a kind. Like, if anybody used my name after me, like, they're a copycat. They're a fraud. I want to be the one and only. That's a fact. Yo, the, the, the way that you do the throwy, like, and you do, like, the different characters in the B and shit, that shit just sets you apart mad crazy. Um... Tell me about the throw. We how as did you I come up you, with as the I throw? I told you on the phone and shit. Like I'm a fan of graffiti. Like I like one liners and shit. Like people I think who had dope one liners before I started doing my shit. Spec BTC from the Bronx, like his SP, like that shit was fire. That shit still is fire. And Peak VLC, like I think those two dudes, like they had two of the dopest like one liners when it comes to doing them. So so you and just wanted to um, do a one liner that doesn't overlap. Yeah, that shit took a minute to do. Like, everybody could do a one-liner. Not, like, some people is easy. And some people, like, that shit is hard as hell to do. But to do it, like, where both letters don't overlap, like, that shit took me a minute, like, to figure that shit out. And once I figured that out, I'm like, ooh-wee, I'm on to something. So so now the, the streets named you the placement king and shit. Talk about that. How How is it that you pick the spots like that? The streets ain't named me that. I named myself that shit, I, but I actually live up to the title. And my placement, sometimes that shit, sometimes that shit finds me, sometimes I find it. Yeah, I be seeing, I be seeing like nice, um, ZB I like writing, and shit. I like writing on the most random and shit, like shit that other people <laughs> won't write on. Like, I like making spots out of shit that's like not supposed to be a spot. I see your shit on, like, you be doing shit on niggas, like, giant murals and shit. Like, yeah, the basement one. Like, that shit is pretty cool. That's how some of the murals that I go over, like, those are actually murals, like, where I have some shit there. And I don't like what, like, the people did over my shit. And some of the, some of the shit I think is cool. I make the colors and everything match, you know? <laughs> Who, uh, who, who? Do you see niggas killing shit right now? When, what, when you out there doing all your placements and shit? Who, do you see anybody out there that 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 could keep up with you? I see a lot of people out there doing their thing. Some of it is good, some of it is bad, but they out there. <sighs> who? Give me a couple of names. Who you? Who? Who's noticeable? I like all graffiti. I like good graffiti and I like bad graffiti. Like the bad graffiti makes me 
that shit inspires me like to go home and practice and do my thing and shit, you know? But I also like the fact that they're actually out there like risking their freedom like to get their name out there, you know? Some of them actually progress and some of them don't. But I love it. Love to see that shit. Rebellious niggas. And they keeping the coach alive. That's a fact. How 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 do you how did you come up with the biggie face in the in the B? Biggie, that's one of my favorite rappers. That's the fucking king of Brooklyn. Facts, facts. That 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 throw you right there. That shit is crazy. Tell me about the uh, um. Tell Man, me about your book. Rapid. I can't really what, hear what you about, that good. You you can't hear me. Like the sound. That shit comes and goes. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly clear. Right. Could you hear me now? I moved yeah. my shit a little. All right, my bad. Um, tell me about your book. Your book that came out. It, the, did your book drop today? Nah, we pushed that <laughs> shit back till tomorrow. My my boy, when he hit me up, like talking about the time that we was gonna drop it, like I was a little tired. I was still sleepy, so I told him we gonna push the date back. We gotta talk about a few things, but that shit gonna drop tomorrow. And it's actually pretty so talk- dope. It shows some of the things that are done, you know. So talk about it. Let's talk about the book. If you're a fan of graffiti, if you're a fan of my shit, if you're a collector, then that shit is something you definitely should have in your collection. It's only limited to 50 copies. It was put together by copies. me and my boy. Me and my boy, he got a company that shit called You Dig, and it's some ill shit. And he be dropping some dope projects. I like what he be doing. So we put our brains together and we made some shit happen. So what does the book consist of? That shit consists of some ill shit. That shit consists of my placement. That shit tells you a little about myself. That shit show you some dope shit. Show you some one of a kind shit. Some rare shit. Some real graph? Of course. That's what I do. What about racking? What about rack? What do you think about racking? Racking is dope. Do you, do you rack? Do you rack your paint? I actually do. I will never pay for paint. If I pay for paint, I really want the can, or I'm trying to make some bigger shit happen. What do you do? You frown upon niggas that don't well, rack if I paint. Do buy a, if I do buy a can, it's because I'm supporting my people who's out there selling them. But other than that, I don't buy paint. <sighs> What about bombing? Tell me, tell me, tell me your 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 um your your, your strategy and shit. Dude, are you one of the niggas that just be busting shit in the daytime in front of people? Yo, I do that shit whenever, wherever. Like if I'm walking down the block and I see a spot and I want to do it, then I'm gonna let my nuts hang and I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna keep it pushing. Whether it's daytime or nighttime, it's gonna get done. Whether I'm with somebody or I'm by myself, I'm gonna get shit done and I'm gonna make it happen. T- t- tell me a crazy bombing story. You don't got a crazy bombing story with ZB? I got a few crazy stories. One day I was, one day I was doing some shits in the train tunnel. I fucking tripped and I landed in front of the third rail and my phone rang and one of my homeboys called me. He's like, "Yo, what you doing?" And I'm like, "Yo, I just tripped in front of, I just tripped like I'm in the tunnel. I just landed in front of the third rail. I gotta call you back. I gotta get up out of here." <laughs> Another time I was taking pictures in the tunnel with some shit that I do. I did some cops. They saw me. They tried to trap me in the tunnel. I had to get up out of there. I remember one night me and A1s was going somewhere on a mission to go do some shit and his fucking car tire blew out. Talk about that. I seen you and A1s on a lot of nice rooftops together. How did how did that um connection happen? One day he was doing an interview and I just happened to walk into the interview and a conversation started about racking and me and him was cracking jokes like, yo, I'm the best racker. And he's like, I'm the best racker. And I'm like, you ain't fucking with me. And he's like, you ain't fucking with me. And we was like, all right, we'll see about that. And it was history in the making from there. A lot of nice spots, bro. When y'all niggas d- do rooftops together, it's like a whole production and shit. You know, y'all niggas take, o- take over the whole spot. It looks fire and shit. That's our hey, version. Of- yo, that's our version of whole cards. <clears throat> yeah, that's a fact. Yo, them shits be looking crazy. Salute to A1s. That's my nigga right there. Sometimes that shit is planned. Sometimes that shit just happens. 
So what about? <laughs> I need to ask. I have that's to pick the graffiti the only shit that, That's probably the only shit that I actually do like at nighttime is like if we're doing the rooftop because that's just like too much shit to be doing at night. Like what we be doing on the rooftops. Would you like better? Does it even matter to you if you're doing a rooftop or just street bombing? Do you like street bombing better? Is that your main like joy? I like bombing, B. Just bombing, remember, period, as long as you hear something. <laughs> I remember one time I fucking walked from the VX to Brooklyn with one of my homies. Shit is the most funnest shit ever. Word, I like bombing. I like seeing good Fuck. sales. I like seeing good outlines. I like seeing ugly ones, too. Word, I, I be everywhere and shit, so I be even knowing who's the toys from the areas, too, yo. It's good to know all of that shit, right? Yeah, sometimes those niggas are actually some of the coolest people you ever could meet. That's nah, that's a fact. Some of, them niggas, some of them niggas blow up, too, after time, nigga. Yeah, we walked from the BX to Brooklyn. That shit took six hours, but we had my fun. Nigga, how the fuck you lasted? One time we walked from Decal and Nickabaca to the to the seaport on the 4th of July and back. And, yo, so my legs were twisted. Yo, before niggas had cars and fucking motorized skateboards and all of these gadgets that niggas got now, like, that's what niggas did. Like, niggas actually walk. <laughs> that's a fact. That my niggas be a niggas. You either do that shit by yourself or you hit one of your mans up and like, yo, I got this mission. Like, we gonna go do this, and we just gonna go do this, and we gonna do that. Some of your best bombers in New York City did that shit, and that's how you see some of their tags still lasting from the early 90s till now. That's a One fact. of my when favorite you, when graffiti you... writers that I see, that I study, is VFR. Like, you see his tags in the most randomest places, and I like the fact that he puts the year next to his shit. That's a fact, bro. Um, He definitely... I'm, I'm out. I got a job site out there by Long Island and shit on the, on the Cuddy block and shit. The nigga just had a, it was a white wall, just a nice blue throwy out of nowhere. And nigga, one day I'm driving to work, I see that shit. I was like, wow, bro. V for, he, he's one of them New York goats, my nigga. That he is graffiti, my nigga. Like a few this days shit, ago, bro. I was walking somewhere and I seen an old ass Dill RFC tag. Like that shit was on the top of a doorway with a like a colonial red, and that shit's been there since '93. But the shit looked like he just did it because the way, the placement of the tag and how well it was preserved. I love shit like that. <laughs> yeah, just preserve the history of graffiti. Do you, you got photo albums of old school shit? Of course. Nice. What well, you got? You got train flicks and all that, too? I'm a fan. I'm a coach and I'm a player. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I love seeing old school, like, um, photo albums, bro, uh, of just graph, my nigga. Real shit. Yeah, you see, look. D I don't got a lot of train flicks, but I do got train flicks. Like, I got a lot of street shit from whether that shit is, like, handball course that nigga's done, whether that shit is, like, random tags on streets, trucks, vans, marker tags. Like. What's your favorite? What's your favorite shit to bomb? What what borough? Brooklyn, Bronx, Manhattan? What? I love all boroughs. They all got a different type of vibe. That's a fact. As long as you get over, right? Fuck it. Yeah. So so now I got I gotta pick your graffiti brain, my, my nigga. There's so many. My favorite bomb, my favorite borough to bomb though. Like I do like the BX. The BX is dope. Like that shit still reminds me of like the '90s before, like when we had like all the abandoned buildings and the straight dogs. Like the BX reminds <laughs> me of that type of shit. Like that's the vibes I still get in the BX. Shout out to all my yes. BX niggas who be out there making noise. <laughs> That's a fact, my nigga. Um, bombing the Bronx, even when I was little, young and shit, all of that, all the way to, you know, um, right now. It's <laughs> I remember old one night me and A1s was bombing in the Bronx and we was doing some shit in the back block and we seen some girls pissing under a truck. We seen a few other niggas having a party in the back of a U-Haul truck. It was some funny shit. Yeah, the Bronx is just so wild, my nigga. They live like they still in the 90s over there, my nigga. I was actually doing a filling somewhere recently in the BX and somebody was getting shot and mugged in a bank. 
Yo, so 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 I gotta I gotta pick your brain, my nigga. You gotta give me a top ten. Who's your top ten favorite niggas of all time? Damn, a top ten. Yeah, bro. Just give me ten niggas. Your ten favorite writers. I can't give you a top ten, but I'll tell you people who shit that I like, people who shit that killed, like that I actually like and <laughs> all I right, like so it. It. I like who, who, I like Mad who, 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 from the BX. He used to do the Star. Mad Star, hell yeah, crazy. That shit was all over the highways. That shit was all hell yeah. yeah. That shit was everything. And beautiful, beautiful throw. The Star was fire. I like I like Chase Chase and Abuse. I like this dude named Chad. He used to kill shit. Tape TFT. You said Chad and Tabe, right? Oh, my yeah. God. Tabe, salute to Tabe and Chad. All of the niggas. Who else? I like, I like seeing those old uh, Save faces that used to be all over New York City from hood to hood. We spot the we spot. I save. I miss, I miss seeing V.E., S.N., and Giz run through New York City, whether it was street spots or scaling rooftops. Ooh. Hell yeah. That's a piece VE. I miss how all the fucking how all the lots used to look in the BX with all the fills, like how people used to bring color schemes to the streets where it wasn't just black and white fills. Shit looked like real stylish. But everything was proper. Even though the streets was grilled, like people actually had more respect for each other back in the days. On some real shit. I miss seeing Dexter up DFT. I miss I miss seeing Jonah up from the F line. I don't know if too many people remember Jonah or Justa. Yep. But they, Hell used yeah. to, they used to destroy the Jonah beat DAT. In a line. Jonah D A T. Yeah. It depends where you go. Like you used to see some dope shit. Like one time, like two rage used to have New York City in a chokehold. Yeah, two rage, yep. I like I would love Dink to get shit. To. Like Dink, he's been consistent for years, and not too many pe people mention him. Hell yeah, Dink! Man, that's a fire time, Dink. It's fire. If you a tunnel walker like I am, like then you see Sane and Smith, or you see Cycle up in a lot of tunnels. You see Late and Curb. Smith is one of my favorites of all time, also. From a nigga who's not from New York, a dude who I think get busy, and I see his shit the most randomest places is Erupto 327. What about throws? What about throws? Who got who who who, who you like their throws? Who throwies? Who throwies? I like I like K A T K K. I like G K T K K. I say T M P. Wow, I like, say I like the old school throws where the S's, like they look almost like shark like type. The S and the R's. I thought those shits was fire. Oh, my old school, my first throwy? Yeah. I like Raph throw ups. Raph? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. LC Fuck Crew, his throw up was pretty dope. LC and LR. Rest in he peace. He being, being fuss. Rape TCN had a fire throw up. Fuzz. Rape. Yeah, rape. Shout out to my nigga Rape, too. Tuski from the BX. He got a dope throw up. Tuski. Word. Shout out to my B BRT niggas. Colo. My homie Colo. He got a fire throw up. Colo. CHK. Yep. His throw. He is dope. I miss seeing Frey kill him tags. Or destroy shit back in the day, too. Hell yeah. Hey. It had a dude from Best Out who used to get busy. His tag was Shatik. Shatik. Remember, we used to gig on Shatik. That's funny. We used to be like, yo, Shatik. Shamik. We all that was funny. Shatik. Wow. That's always your a dope ass graffiti artist. Who? Ghost. Ghost R.I.S. I think he's a dope ass graffiti artist. Ghost is that nigga, my nigga. Word. 
Oh, I just that, that I used to see on the trains because him and Cat, they will always be doing the clean train. Like, they had the clean train moving going on. I thought that still was pretty ill to see. I think Spec SNR has some fire throw-ups. The two S's with the square on the top of them. Yes, that's sex. TK, he had a dope throw-up. So many people. Word. TKA. Who said TKA the last time? Somebody said TKA. Yeah, TKA, TKA had a dope throw up too. That TikTok shit that she used to be all over New York City. Yeah, TKA was fire, my nigga. I'm doing a story right now. That's crazy. <laughs> Words said. So what? So what about your hats, my nigga? Talk about your hats and 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 your gear and shit. Sometimes randomly when I'm in the mood, I drop t-shirts, depending on how I'm feeling, or it depends what the people want. Sometimes people hit me up with requests and they tell me like some shit that they want on a t-shirt, I make that happen. The hats I'll be doing, that shit happen random. Like the first hat I dropped, that shit had Biggie on it. The hat that I just dropped, that shit got old dirty Bastin on it. And every time I drop a hat, those shits is always limited to 12. Sometimes, so you just dropped one, though, right? You only five. Did Did you just drop one? You just dropped one, right? Yeah, I got a hat right now with old dirty bastard on it. I'm actually about to paint that shit somewhere soon. With Yo. um, how many? You we still got hats available? We though? talk about throw ups again and shit because he just keep hitting me like while I'm sitting here answering this question. Like my boy PG ism, God bless his soul. Like he had a fire throw up. My nigga AC2, he got a dope-ass throw-up. AC1. Sloan. Sloan. I think Zane WR had an ill throw-up back in the day. Son used to do his thing. Bruce. There's so many people. And it all depends, like, what neighborhood you're in where you see some of this shit that I'm talking about. Bruce, rest in peace, bro. That nigga's throw-up was fire. Word. I just love that tag, man. The whole wrist mob, my nigga. They just all. I think hey, that's the most the previous crew. He had a dope ass tag. He had a dope ass throw up cable and send OFL. Cable. There's a dude. He used to do fills randomly. He's from I don't know where he's from, but he's from somewhere uptown, and he writes JP. He used to get busy. I thought he had a fire, fire ass hand. Fire ass outline when he dropped them. A dude from Queens, two penny pits, people don't mention. He goes by the name of Hectic and Q's. Like, I think those dudes have some dope ass spells Hectic. from the 718 crew. Yeah, Hectic and Q, yep. GSC. Yep. None of them, a lot of them niggas don't get mentioned in shit at all. They're forgotten about, G but. I remember yep. all of that shit. JP and Oni. I wish I could. Ha I, I got to find JP and Oni. If anybody could get me in contact with JP and Oni, let me know, bro. Hit my, hit my DM, bro. For There's real. There's a few people who's actually making comebacks right now who I that think is pretty dope, like Naughty 40 and 40. He been doing his thing. ATFP. That's another dope-ass artist out there who's been killing shit for years. Not too many people talk about yeah, there's a few niggas that came back that's killing shit, my nigga. I miss seeing Acid Tags. He used to have an F line on Smash. Acid 3-6. Yo, but but how long how long has Z B been been active? Z B been active since 2016. All right, all right. You um you don't got no shows coming up or nothing like that? I've been thinking about an art show, but right now, New York City is my art show. Every time I drop a fill, every time I, I drop something, that's me giving you art. That's my show. I think it's better appreciated it while it's here. Huh? What, what Do you have any advice? I've been thinking think about, about doing an art show, but honestly, like, I don't got no time. Like... You know, like graffiti, that shit is cool and shit, but I got other shit going on, like in my just my regular life, you know? 
But if I do do an art show like that, shit is gonna be worth coming out to, you know. I got my art I could show you. I got art. I got pictures. I got some ill shit. But at the moment, I don't got time to do an art show. So when you see a fill pop up, that's me. That's my art show. ZB Bunny, BTP, HTL, XCC, YKK. Sometimes I drop bombs for Dolo. Sometimes my friends, they make guest appearances. What's, what's, the na- what's the name of the book? The name of the magazine that I just draw with my people from you dig is called Paint Things Properly. Paint Things Properly. How yeah, how could they get it? Do I have to DM you? Or how do how do people get it? You could get that shit through a DM or you could get that shit through you dig official.com. Tomorrow he's gonna put the link in his bio. And if you're a person who likes to shop online, like you could click that. If you're a person who got PayPal, then you could shoot me a PayPal and I'll drop that shit in the mail. All right, yo, I know the I know the fans are gonna be waiting for that shit. That shit's gonna go quick. And you said it's a limited edition, right? Yeah, something dope. It's only it's only fifty copies made. What about pins, bro? You know the collectors want pins, my nigga. Somebody's always asking me to do those shits. I, I, I've been thinking about doing one, but I actually don't have the patience. Like, it takes one of those shits to come. Like, you got to wait, like, a whole month for a pen. Yeah, but the quicker you put the order in, the quicker you'll get it. And you got to get it out to the feet. You got to get <laughs> My nigga, tomorrow's not promise. So you got to give the fans what they want. You got to give your, you know, you, your ZB. They want the pin. I want the pin for my collection. <laughs> One day, right now, y'all just got to deal with the funk that I'm dropping. Hats, jeans, t-shirts, sweaters. Facts. Push the hats and but push yo, the book. When I do drop a pen, trust me, that shit is worth it. it it's nah, worth the wait. You're you going to do the Biggie face pin? That's what you got to do, something like that. You know how y'all waited for the Carter Five? There you go. My pen gonna be hot like the that. ZB is as equal as the card of five. There we go. <laughs> Rap champs, bitch. Trust me. When I do get in the pen game, though, like, the pen game is over. I'm going to change that. Like, I-, I got some shit to drop when I do drop a pen. That's what's up, my nigga. You got you to gotta give them what, you know, give them what they want. And you, uh, could people get sticker packs from you? Yeah, I got sticker packs. You could either get those from me personally or you could go to www.dual1.com. I got canvases too. You could either DM me for one of those or you could take your ass uptown and go to All City Legends. Word. <laughs> I um, what what uh, what about the graph now? Like all the new graph. What 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 advice will you give to these to these new niggas coming out? Yo, stay anonymous. Don't be meeting every Tom and Dick and Harry just because they like your picture. Yo, the internet, this shit is a gift and a curse. Word to my mommy. Like, I like I like graffiti before we had, like, the internet, like, where you really had to go, like, outside, hop on the bus, go hop on the train, like, to see who was putting the work. You know, if you meet a person, you meet a person. If y'all want to take that shit further than graffiti, then cool. So be it. But me personally... Everybody who sprays their name on the wall, they ain't your friend. Word. I know people who actually got locked up for 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 Instagram. So the the less people who know who you are, the better off you are. The best thing to be is anonymous. Now, if you are one of those niggas who want to run around and meet Tom, Dick, Harry, Jane, then go ahead, do that. But don't get mad. If something ever happens and you end up in a bad predicament, you can't say nobody warns you. Don't. And if you are out there, like, painting and shit, like, be respectful. Like, if you see something that's been on the street since, like, 92, something that's been there since, like, 89, like, leave that shit alone. That shit's been there for a reason. Like, don't be disrespectful. I see mad kids going over history. Like, I got a love-hate relationship with graffiti. Anybody who knows me personally, like, they know that shit. 
Yeah, the, I see a lot of shit that disgusts me too, bro. People going over like fucking relic old school kings too, like niggas yo, going over old. And when it fib. comes to cruise, yo, when it comes to cruise and shits, like just don't put anybody down with your crew just because you see a nigga bombing. Like I see a lot of people doing that shit. Like they meet this nigga, this nigga cool. They do black book canvas sections. Like you like the nigga vibes, yo. Push my crew. Crew shouldn't be like that. Crew should be family based. And it shouldn't just be graffiti. Like, if you put a person down with your crew, like, be able to trust that person. A lot of people are down with crews, I feel, like, for clout. Some people down with crews just because they want to say they're a part of or something. And so you old niggas who stop painting, stop putting all these young niggas down with your crew trying to keep that shit alive. If you want to keep your shit alive, hop up out there, grab your can, and go make your own noise. Graph Champs agrees with that one million percent. <laughs> Yo, is there um anything else you want to talk about or say to the fans before we get off this? Nah, practice makes perfect. Stay sucker free. Drink water. Mind your business. <laughs> and listen That's to your mama. That's basically it. <laughs> Yo, Z, to all my you friends, are my family members. I love you. If you dislike me, I still love you too. Cause at the end of the day, whether I do something good or bad, I'm giving you something to talk about, and you just spicing up my sauce and my seasoning. That's a fact. That's what it's all about. The create the creativeness, bro. Until my right, number is not- called, I promise to give y'all the illest graffiti on the planet. And who knows? I might fuck your eyes up and drop a piece one day. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the world is so yours, Z. watching this somewhere out there. I love you, ma. Yo, drop so fucking... Um, soldiers. What, 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 so what's, what's the... You got shout-outs before, before, you know? You want to shout anybody out specifically? Shout out to my PTP family, my XTC family, my HTL family. Shout out to my nigga A1s, my nigga Z Dubs. Y'all already know the vibes. So all the young niggas coming up, study, take notes, respect history, and put on for your city. As I said, I like all graffiti, whether that shit is good or bad. You're actually out there, like, doing the shit that most people are scared to do. And if you're going to do it, then be the best. Shout out to everybody who's out there doing what they do, putting on. Shout out to everybody, whether you international, global, whether you a block nigga, whether you that nigga, you not that nigga. We all got a story to tell, and we all telling it. That's a fact, my nigga. It's like how the kids yeah, but- was doing when they was in those tunnels with their sticks and stones. You know? Peace and blessings to all. Shout out to all those niggas out there who's actually, like, really letting their nuts hang and they banging out all of those trains. That's one of the shits that I love about graffiti. Like, you be standing in a train, you're about to go pop up on somebody, you probably going to work and then boom, a whole car just rolls into the station. That's some shit that I love about graffiti. And I love the fact that people come from all over the fucking globe just to paint one of our trains. Because we started that shit. Word. So you like the out-of-towners coming in and blowing shit up? Yo, I love when they fuck the trains up because... Not too many New Yorkers is really out there doing that. Some people don't want those type of consequences, so they avoid that metal. But to the people who out there that's really out there touching that still, I salute y'all niggas. I love that shit. Not everybody got what it take like to actually like run into a yard, run into a layup, and bang out a whole card. And that's some real shit. Shout out to all the people who doing that shit, whether you a native or not. That's a fact, son. I see that shit on the news like every week. A whole Yo, fucking call. If I could do that shit and like nobody knew my name or like the type of style of my letters, I'd be out there turning up. But simple, simple fact that people study shit too much and people talk too much, I wouldn't do that shit at the moment. Because I don't want to wake up and the alphabet boys is at my door talking about, hey, 
on January 31st, you did this trade. <laughs> it's not too much shit graffiti-wise that the cops care about or not care about. But that type of attention, I don't want it. I mean, I know we all like attention, but I don't want that attention. You feel me? That's a fact. <laughs> I never, I never bombed the train though, so I, I never rocked like a big giant filling no, or a piece. No, it's a wonderful feeling, but I got in trouble for that shit once, so I left that part of the arena alone. But shout out to everybody doing that shit. Every other thing that's in my path that I know, like that I could write on, and I won't get in trouble for it. I'm doing it. And some spots is just like no fuck it. Like, yeah, I think my name will look good right there. And that's how the placement shit takes place. Especially when I see that shit pop up in like a random music video or that shit is in the news clip or somebody just texts me a picture like, hey, I was over here and I saw this. Like, I do like that shit depending who you are. That's how I, I pick spots like that, bro. I be trying to pick the spots that look like they're going to last forever and shit. But other than that, at the end of the day, like, I'm just a fucking hardcore vandal. Like, I just love writing on shit. So that's why you see me everywhere and nowhere. Word. And I told you, depending on my mood, like, that shit could be fucking 9 in the morning. That shit could be 1 in the afternoon. If I see a spot and I want to do a fill, then I'm going to go for it. That's what it's about, bro. That motherfucking rush. Nothing can replace that. That's what is. A, that's what it is for me, bro. It's just the rush and the feeling. I feel no, mad free. It's not even a rush for me. Like you know how like you smoke a cigarette like after you finish like eating a good meal. <laughs> like that's how it feel, feels to me. Like after eating a slice of pizza, it's like that vibe right there. You know, like before graffiti was like. When I first started it, that shit felt like that first nut that you got. Like, you're always, like, trying to chase that feeling, but you just never get it again. It started <laughs> off like that, and now that shit is like, half, hey, whatever. You know? But, yo, it's more to life than graffiti. For real. A whole lot more. A lot of niggas take it way, way, way too serious. Besides doing fresh fills. I like actually doing shit that uh, like that doesn't even involve graffiti. Like I actually like looking at art. I like going out. Man, I don't want this to shit sound like tender or nothing like that. But yeah, I like doing shit other than graffiti. Word. <laughs> yeah, me too, my nigga. What type of art? Who actually wanted to hear my story? I, I I really wasn't into doing interviews and shit. But somebody always want to know something, so. Why not hear from the horse's mouth, right? And not, not only that, my nigga, niggas wanted to salute the work that you put in, my nigga. In such a short amount of time, ZB has made a, a crazy hard stamp in, you know what I'm saying, in graph in general. So, you know, we salute in you, my nigga. I appreciate the flowers while I'm still here. Word. Yo, Z, so, I, right, yo, we off this shit right now, but that's Graph Traps. You heard my nigga ZB, PTP, my nigga. What, what does a PTP stand for? That shit stand for paint things properly, peep that picture, punch that punk, for all the ladies that's down with it, pack that purse. <laughs> Ah, right, yo, yo, we salute you, Z, and I'm gonna hit you about the the hat. You see, I need the hat and the motherfucking uh, mag. You heard? Yeah, when I'm not on my lazy man shit, we could definitely link, make something happen. People all right, bro, yo. Up. Thanks, thanks for the love, my bro. We salute you. I, right? you gotta x yourself out. You already. Z B, my nigga. Graph champs, that was ZB, the placement king. ZB. Shit a fucking live, yo. Shit a fucking shit a fucking live. Yo, thank you everybody for tuning in. This is Graph Champs, my nigga. Now we got Bow, the motherfucking tunnel king, coming up. Yo, Bow, hope you in here. Yo, Bow. Where you at? I'ma send you an invite. <laughs> This is some real this is some real king shit going on right here. NYC King shit. I just invited Bao in here.
Yo, if y'all niggas is from New York City, my nigga, and you, 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 you took the train ever in your life or you was ever anywhere because this nigga hit the streets, this nigga hit everything. Here we go, bro. Dow, B-A-A-L. What's good, man? NYC motherfucking transit king, my nigga. Salute, What's baby. Up, How's everything, man? Yo, good. Thank you. Thank you for coming on Graph Champs. You know, we on Graph Champs. We we only have people that have impacted the culture, that changed the game, that have rang bells retardedly. And you're definitely one of those niggas. And you check all the boxes, my nigga. We thank you for coming on Graph Champs. You heard? Thanks, man. Much appreciate. Much appreciated. How you doing, tonight, man? It's good. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, man, I'm good, bro. It's good to it's good to talk to you, my nigga. Like, like we gotta link up again and hit a little sticker session or some shit. You heard? Mm hmm. That's a fact, my nigga. So, look, you so on Graph Champs, the the fans want to hear the story. So we gotta start from the beginning. So we're gonna start from the beginning. What got you into graffiti? Uh, just exploring and shit, to be honest with you, like, like back in the early nineties, we used to call shits like missions. Like you climb up on roofs and stuff. And then I would, you know, I would see there was a guy that wrote vice in my junior high school or the elementary school, actually. And it was, everybody was like, you know, who was this dude? Who was this dude? You know, caught on. And then so I figured I got a nickname KOD at the time. So I was like, let me place my tag. Let me do that up there. So it just came out like that. And then, you know, that's what got me into it. And then I started to like, we hung out in tunnels and stuff like that. And I would see like Sane and Smith were a huge inspiration for me with that because I would see them in the tunnels and every tunnel I'd go in, I'd be like, you know, they in every tunnel. So nobody was really doing it like that. Not, not in all city bombing capacity. People would do tags in certain boroughs, but as far as all city goes, they had it locked back then. Nobody was doing that, you know? So I, that's how I pretty much got into it. And plus, growing up, I grew up in a time where everybody had a tag. Everybody had a nickname. I had a nickname before I had a tag. I was KOD, you know. So Kid of Destruction, that's what that was. That was a nickname. It wasn't even a tag. That wasn't even graffiti. It was just a nickname in the street. And, you know, just I just started writing. I just seen tags on the wall. You know, I would see um, the ACC crew. They were a big inspiration to me. Um, Frey, Tez, 3D. Leo Seg, Joner, uh, you know, because I was always around downtown Brooklyn a lot in the early 90s, so these are names that I would see a lot around there, you know. I would go to Manhattan, I would see Web 113. I would see him a lot, like like street fillings. That, that stuck out in my head a lot when I, was a, you know, when I was coming up. You know, I would travel a lot and see a lot, you know. It was a lot of cool stuff up. So at what, how did you get the, ta the tag bow? I had a lot of different tags at the time. Like I had the nickname KOD. So with that, I had a few tags. I had, um, I'm sure you remember, you, you older than me. You, you, you remember when people used to write little, they used to be like, they used to do an L and like, like I, I was, um, for a couple, for about a few months, I was little SARS and I wrote the tag slats. Uh, I had medic M I D I C. And then I had the tag I had now, but I had all of them at the same time, but I had to come with one because everybody kept telling me that KOD looks like a crew. That's what they would say to me. They're like, why do you write that? It looks like a crew. So I was like, all right, you know, so I changed it. So I, I just stuck with, with what I have now. But I wrote all the tags together for almost a year straight, like all of them together, just trying to figure out what. So between 91 and 92, like around 93, I had like all those different tags, just recycling them, just trying to come up with something that fits. So, so you're from that the the other side of Brooklyn, then, like because you said you all yeah, went yeah. to I'm born and raised in Pensioners, New Trick Avenue. Okay, okay, okay. So, how 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 did you um like? Because it seems like anywhere where there's a fucking train track or a train or a train station or anything, you're it's a given that you're going to be. Killing shit. That's, that's everywhere. That's one of the things that, that I gravitated towards because even before graffiti, I was obsessed with trains. Like I, my mother and father would buy me like train books and shit like that. Like I was obsessed with the subways even before graffiti. So when I started exploring, I'd be I'd be like seven, eight, nine years old, and neighborhood would be climbing up on roofs, just not graffiti related, just troublemaker, just hanging out doing things, you know. And mm -hmm. when I started to really get curious about the subway, like like I was like, wow, I would I beat my father on a train. I'd see like different exits and shit and just piqued my curiosity. So, 
you know, I would just want to go in. The first time I went into a tunnel, it wasn't even to write graffiti. It was honestly just to see what the fuck was in there. I was just curious to go in. So, I mean, that, that's what made me go in there. And then I just, I was doing graffiti, so why not? It just, I could combine both things at the same time. I like to explore. I like to write on things, so. Yeah, yeah, bro. That that feeling of going that because that's the first thing I, I rode in, too, um, tunnels. Like, cause I wanted, I wanted to hit trains, but I, I wasn't old enough. But when I got old enough to the trains was already finished, but the first thing I hit was tunnels yeah. and those were still rocking, bro. Yeah. I'm sure you remember too. I remember, I remember the trains being covered with graffiti, but it didn't inspire me to write graffiti though. I used to, I used to wanted to try to draw and stuff. Like when I was a little kid, I wanted to draw cartoons. I was into cartoons and shit, but I couldn't really have the skill to draw, I'll be honest with you. But when I'd be up on the train station, like the B train would pull in, you see mad cartoons and shit on there. That shit would hype me up. I'd want to go home and try to draw cartoons. I, it didn't inspire me to write graffiti at all. I just, I liked the cartoons. Then when I got older, I look back, I'm like, oh wow, yeah, there was graffiti on there. But I remember none of the graffiti because I wasn't interested in it. I was interested in the cartoons i didn't i didn't start i didn't start to want to write graffiti until about 91 90 that, that didn't interest me until then so so when you picked the bow out of all the tags and you started going serious with with the bow you was just for dolo who was you writing with a few people back then i had um i was down with a crew wtk back then um a local crew they, you know, they, they were pretty tough guys, you know, it was like, they, they showed me a lot of things like, like, you know, just, I, I don't want to speak freely. I'm on here, but you know, they basically show me how to behave yourself, how to conduct yourself and get money, do certain things or, or just conduct yourself in any way, you know? So it was cool. I mean, I hung out with them for a little bit, you know, that, that got me, you know, assessed with different things. And then as I would branch out, I would just hang out in different areas, different neighborhoods. And I would just hang out around different people, learn different neighborhoods, and then just go by myself a lot of times too. I would just pick a neighborhood, just go walk around, go chill, do whatever. Nice, nice. So you never, did you ever meet anybody like when you was bombing, like any writers? Oh, of course. I dozens. I mean, everybody does. I mean, I, I mean, but I'm not going to name them. It's like, you know, because sometimes it's an awkward situation. They might, you know, they, but at the same time, I've run into a lot of people like there, there's been a lot of people that I've run into or, you know, sometimes it's friendly, sometimes it's not. But I mean, it's 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 always fun. Put it that way, whether it's friendly or not. It's always fun. In the tunnel, you ran into people in the tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. In the tunnel, usually that's not cool in a way because you can't really assess who that is. That's the hard thing. So out in the streets, it's easier to kind of see. You could tell within three seconds, you know, if that's 5-0 or not. You know, you could look at them and tell. You know, it, when you're in a tunnel, it's kind of hard. I'm, I've had dudes walk up to me in the tunnel. You know, I guess they wanted to come up and just talk to me whatever. It's like they're watching me, and it's like it, it, they sneak up behind you. Like, these motherfuckers must tippy-toe or some shit. And it's like I turn around and look at them. Like, but, I mean, I can see they're not a cop or none, but it's like, you know, people, people be doing that shit. They be, they be sneaking around, like. Do you have, did, did work bums or, or police ever run up on you in a tunnel? Oh, work bums a lot. They've, they've, they've had conversations with me. Like they, you know, it's funny, of course. They, they not, you know, they, <laughs> they'll try to talk you out of it. Like they'll say, um, you know, you shouldn't be down here. They'll give you like blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, sometimes they're kind of scared or they might be nervous. They don't know how to take you. But the, the result is the same. You're going to walk away. You're going to leave. You're not going to stand and entertain them. So you know, so you never got chased for writing on a train, or like you never wrote on the trains that are laid up in the tunnel. Yeah, of course, but like, I'm not going to talk about it. Like I, I, we could talk about that at a later <laughs> time. But I mean, I, I have pictures and stories to talk about. But you know, I mean, but of course, but. <laughs> Yeah, you know, so nah, because like I said, I I never like I caught a tags on a train before, like you know, doing motions, but I never rocked a felon on a train. You know what I'm saying? I would, you know, I would love to do that. I, I mean, have. we'll definitely have that conversation at a later time. <laughs> no doubt, bro. No doubt. So, so at, at so at that time now, how how do you feel like you be? Did did you ever do it like to 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 be taken seriously, or you just did it and then boom, you started blowing up and people just start mentioning you? How how did what, like? How yeah, did that's, you know? that's what happened. Yeah, tell like me. Tell people, me. I didn't, because I've always really been a humble type of guy. Like, so, I mean, you know, I, there was a point, I guess, where people would come up to me and they, they would say, oh, I saw you here, there. So I was like, all right, cool. You know, because at first, the main, like, the main reason, you just want people to know you were somewhere. That's why you put your shit up. I, I was here, you know, it's advertisement. So 
you know, I just, I didn't really do it seriously to be known as a graffiti writer in the beginning. I was just doing it because I was like, wow, I'm going here. I'm hanging out on this roof. Here's my tag. I'm here. But then once I started to go around and hang out in different neighborhoods, then people start coming up to me. They're like, you know, I, I seen you here and there. It inspired me too, because who doesn't want to hear that shit? They're like, all right, fine. You see me up there. So let me go here, there. And I got the mindset to go. Like, I love to travel. I love to just go, go, go. I'm very hyper. So, you know, it, it works out good. Do, do you have like a favorite, a favorite like um line to hit? All of them. Anything with a train. I mean, that's why I said I gravitate towards trains. So when I go out of state, I love I love any type of, of I just like to explore. It doesn't even have to be graffiti related. I could just go take a stroll. I could just go stretch my legs and see what's about. You know, I, I just I like to be to do that stuff. I like to I have been in other places, other cities where I'll just walk through it. I just want to get familiar with it. So you've been you have you been through all the all the tunnels and and, and the no, underground? Not every tunnel. I can't. No, no, I haven't been through every tunnel. No, no. What about um? So you've been, been through what about lot, in all of them in Brooklyn at least. What is it? Have you been in all of them in Brooklyn at least? I can't say. I mean, I can't say. I'm not going to be here and, and be conceited and say I've been in every single one. I'm sure I missed a few, you know. But I mean, I can I can say I've been in a lot. Put it that way. I mean, I've been in a lot, but I haven't been in every single one of them. Now, L, L line is my tunnels and shit when I was young, son. There's still, I still got old school SR tags in those tunnels, son. Yeah, I hate those fucking tunnels. I'll tell you five things. What is it, Lorimar Street or all around there? Like, er, uh, late 90s, I remember I fell off the catwalk and went, because all the fucking catwalks are broken in there and shit. I was in there by myself one day, and I had to run. The train was coming, and all the, it's like all the cement and shit is all cracked and shit. I don't know if they fixed it recently or not, but it was all fucked up, all those tunnels. They just, they didn't give a shit about that. So I used to hate those tunnels, man. It was nasty. Yeah, you never got hurt in one of the tunnels? Like, you know, tripped, fell? No, not or... too bad. I, um, I tripped a couple times. Of course, you're going to have bumps and bruises and accidents. You know, you're going to have that. Um, I just, nothing major. I, I've broken bones out in the street, like, getting hurt. But I never broke anything in the tunnel. I've never had any serious. I've had close calls, but never had anything broke, nothing serious, nothing like that at all. No, because we, we, we like we was running to get to the station and we tripped on the on the on the tracks happens, and we almost yeah. ran over by a train. Yeah, that happens. I took um <laughs> I've taken a lot of people down there throughout the years. There was one kid, I can't even remember what he writes, but I took him um it was the G train going to Queens and he had fallen one day. We were down there and he fell and he fucked his shit up really bad, you know. So I took my sock off, I rubbed you know, you make like a tourniquet from and shit, but you know, he he, he fucked his shit up bad, and that's what happens. You can get caught, you trip, and your shin go right into that. But Or you can get electrocuted or some shit, but you just got to, you know, when you got to run, you got that's why I like to run on the wood. You got to just got to be careful. You got to look down when you run, you know? Yeah, man, the whole, the tunnels is like a whole, it's a whole different world, bro. There's fucking, I ran into bums in the tunnel that lived in the tunnel. Oh, I have. When I was a little kid, man, we, yo, when we, we used to cut school like 90, 91, 92 to avoid the truant squad, we would go into the tunnels back with Philly Blunts. And I was the new Jack Punk little kid, right? Everybody was like 16 or whatever. I was like 11, 12. So I was the young kid, you know, you got to do your dues. So I go to the store. Remember, you got to use the Philly Blunts back then. We'd have a Philly session down in the, the hatch. Um, sometimes there'd be homeless people down there. You know, they're cool. They chill down there and stuff with you. But now you can't because it's a different time. It's much different now. But back in the day, like, I'd get, like, a, a blimpy sandwich, get a Philly, get, like, like a 40, and you, you chill. Like, you can chill in the hatch. We used to have sessions and chill. We used to have black book sessions in the tunnels, everything. Yeah, that's fire, bro. You got you got old school um, pictures or anything like that? Yeah, like yeah, 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 I do. I'm not a big collector, but I do got I do got some stuff from the from the early '90s of, of me. I got you know, I, but I don't really collect too much. I'm not really into that no more. Wow, but but you got pictures of tunnels. You're saying though? Yeah, not necessarily. Like, I, I'm not really a big collector. I was never big on it. Like, I don't even have a black book to be honest with you. I don't have a personal black book, but I do have things that I have over the years I've acquired from people. But I just lost the interest of collecting everything over the years. But I do have certain things. I still have some some really cool shit from the early '90s. Yeah, man, I fucking I, I just love old school fucking pictures of graph, bro. What about paint? What you do? You you rack your paint? I buy everything, man. Now, if I, <laughs> <laughs> nah, you got um. Yeah, I mean, it's. I look at it like this: it, it, there are many different ways to acquire it for free. 
So it's not like if you, you just don't have to go in like, like it's the Wild West, you know, there's many different ways to acquire this for free. So there's a lot of different ways, you know. That's a fact. So let me, I got to ask, I got to pick your graffiti brain since, you know, you're one of the NYC Tunnel Kings. Who you think is the fucking, who you think is the number one tunnel nigga of all time? Uh, I mean, it's hard to say because like I said, when, when I first started going into tunnels around 91, I only noticed Shane and Smith. Now I know other people are up down there, but at the same time, they're the only ones that, that made a presence to me that stuck out. You know, you did have all the dudes that was up in there and stuff, but for the most part, they stuck out to me because of the other guys that were hitting up down there, like take Jay, for example, right? He had a lot of stuff up back then. I seen him up back then, but at the same time, he concentrated on other things. Shane and Smith concentrated on the tunnels. In my opinion, they're the only ones that really went all city, the first in the tunnels, you know, they, they concentrated on that. And that, that was cool to see because a lot of tunnels I went through, I just be going through as a kid just to go chill, not even to write. I wouldn't even have a fucking can on me just to go chill. And I would see them up every fucking time I went in. So then it has to be Sane and Smith, right? Definitely, yeah. I mean, in my opinion, though, I'm not, you know. Yeah, not, nah, but your opinion counts because you're one of the fucking Tunnel Kings. You, you, so I, I want to know your opinion because I, I, I love Smith. Smith and, and Sane, rest in peace. Like, they're one of my fucking... Yeah, Top, you know what I mean? Like, that's top, top dog names right there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So who else? Who else? Because there's a lot of niggas out there. My nigga Niso is a tunnel Goliath, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, he, a had, lot he, had, yeah he had stuff up, too. A lot. See, the thing is, like, when I say it, like, a lot of people had stuff up. What I'm saying is, like, when I would travel, like, Sane and Smith are the only ones that did, did it in a broader horizon. You know, you'd have people that would go down there and do a spot here and there. They actually missioned where you could tell they were hitting every fucking tunnel, you know. So that's why I tip my hat to that. Word. One of my favorite shit when I was riding the train, still to this day, just looking out the tunnel. If I ride the train, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't ride the train hardly at all. But looking out the, looking out the window to the tunnel, the seas in there and shit, you know, and you see a lot of new shit, but you see a lot of, Relic shit too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the tunnels is there's nothing like it. Especially when I'm down there and stuff, you know, I take time to look at some of the stuff. I mean, it's there's a lot of history down there. I like that, you know. I, I respect that. I like that stuff, you know. Yeah. Um. Look, the the comments niggas is saying sell to rage. Yeah, sell definitely to rage. Of course, sell to and and again, like I said, like. Of course, I would as a kid, I would see Sill and Two Rage all over. But but in my opinion, like like it was just Sane and Smith that really held that. Like they went above and beyond, you know. So I mean, everybody's gonna have, of course, you know. But of course, you see all these different people up. I mean, there's a lot of people that I saw up, you know, growing coming up. A lot of people, a lot of people made an impact. I mean, you can't come up where I came up from in the early '90s and not have an impact with multiple different people. Oh, we we forgetting another one. Revs, remember Revs had fucking tunnel yeah. smashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when he Rev. did the first roller thing. I think it was ninety four or something. I remember that. Yeah, Revs, bro. Fucking um, and old school niggas too. Curb and late. Mm. Remember them? Curb K E R B no. and late L A T E. Nah, nah. You don't remember that? I mean, if I see it, I probably remember it, but not offhand. Yeah, and salute to Hojo too. Hojo is another. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hojo, yeah, definitely Hojo, of course. Hojo is a and Map Map has a lot of tunnels. Also, salute to Map. Yeah. Also, the tunnel. Hojo, Hojo, and Map. Those are my boys right there. Those are my people. Yeah, bro, niggas got tunnels smashed. I seen um, Bruce had, had some tunnels also. He did, yeah. And I would see him a lot in Queens. In Queens, he had a lot of nice stuff. And you know what I liked what he did, too, was he would do a lot of the highlights and, and cool stuff down in the tunnel. A lot, you know, not, I'm not saying he was the first, but he definitely was one, you know, one of the first people I noticed doing stuff like that down in the tunnel, which was pretty cool. Yeah, and my nigga, too, rest in peace, Seuss, RTD. He, he used to have some yeah, tunnels, Seuss. too, Seuss. Yeah, Seuss, definitely. I would see him up in, around Queens, too, especially. He had some stuff. Yeah, man, that was my dog right there, bro. Rest in peace, Seuss, RTD, for real. And shit, yeah, what cool. about streets? But, you know, you, you, you hit streets, too, bro. You hit spots, and yeah, I see you. Like, like, um, 
I mean, I start I, like I, I like um, streets. They they inspire me too. Like, there's a lot of good spots in the street, especially different cities. Like, the, different cities got a lot of good spots. Got all different stuff. I love freights. A lot of different cities got different states. Got different freight yards. You know, they got different train lines. Like, yeah, I'm very. You know, I'm. I, I love to explore. I love to just. I'm very hyper. I like to go out and just see what's out there. Enjoy life. You know. What about um streets the streets of New York now? Do 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 you see the streets of New York now? Do you look? Of course, yeah. Who doesn't? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody's killing. Every everybody's pretty much all city. Everybody's doing everything. It's, it's a different time because you, you you don't really get arrested now for graffiti. You don't. There's no real penalty. There's no. There, you're not going to get in trouble if you steal. You're not going to get in trouble if you get caught writing. So so. You know, it, you have an abundance of more people that are making, you know, it's a free-for-all. So you have everybody doing everything now, so. Do, do you see anybody? Does anybody stand out to you? Give me two names. Give me two names. Anybody that stands out to you? Everybody does. I mean, you have, um, I would say right now, Goog is up a lot. I see him around, definitely. They you know, he, he's a cool dude. He's a cool dude. You know, but Thank everybody... You. Yeah, every everybody like like because you have to realize too, it's a different generation from my generation. Like like now, people got fucking caps and canes where you rock a filling in five seconds. You yeah. know, on top of which you ain't getting arrested. Let them know about the of, of back in the day with the skinny caps. We had to yo, it was hard, bro. Getting gifs, all types of when shit. I would do, when I would do street fillings back in the nineties, you'd always have a lookout. Somebody, I look out. Any any car that comes, you know, they, they let you know. Like you have to have a lookout. Now it's like you're done in five seconds. You don't even need a lookout. Yup, that's crazy. Imagine back then if we had six hundreds that wrote fucking like ten fingers the way they got it now, son. It would be retarded, man. Yeah. More graffiti. The D, yo, the <laughs> DT's head would explode if they saw that shit back then. Could you imagine that? <laughs> they wouldn't know it yo I'll tell you they, they would catch me like I, I was always innovative like like I'll try to make shit like remember I grew, we, same era as you like we, you know you make your mops like I was always into making shit like I always had different mops as a kid I'd try to make my own type of markers and I remember when I you know they, they, they see that shit too when they bag you they'll take that shit off you and the cops they admire it they'll be like oh this and that you know they see all that shit so, so you was one of them niggas like me that had like um ink ink drops on every piece of clothing that he had. Yeah, I I, I ruined everything. <laughs> All my clothes were ruined growing up. I'd be going to school, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade. I'd rip barbed wire, rips ink, every you name, oil, whatever. It's just like I look homeless. Like, like I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! So you never snuck out, sneak sneaking out of the crib to go bombing at night. Yeah, of course. I mean, my parents mm -hmm. knew when I was a young kid, when I when I started around like 11 or 12, they, they knew that I was doing that. You know, they weren't well, giving them permission, well, but they would know, you know, like, I mean, it was... But they I knew he was just, running in the train tunnels? They didn't realize that probably until the mid-90s. I guess, you know, for whatever reason, when I think my father realized who what my tag was, when he would ride the train, he would see it. He, he brought it to my attention one night when we was having dinner, you know, that he had seen it. So I guess like, you know, and I was like 13 at the time. So, you know, I guess that, you know, he realized that, it, you know, but it was all right. That was, you know. Nah, because my mom used to be like, yo, I saw your name. And she used to be tight. <laughs> she used to be tight. When he first saw it, when he first saw it, he would, um, going down to BQE, he would get mad. In the early '90s, I would catch a few spots on that, and he he seen that going to work when he worked in Queens and shit. And I remember he he got mad the first time he seen it, but after that he let it go. Like, you know, I don't know. I never really got proud. Like, like I never got like you know, I never really got too much problems with that. Like, you know. Do you do you do sticker packs and shit like that? I mean, people. I don't. I'm not like. I'm very low key, so I don't really like, I'm not out there selling shit, this and that. But I mean, I have people do approach me on personal level. If somebody wants to approach me on a personal level, they want something, they could have something, you know? Like, but, but I don't like advertise nothing. I've got no website. I don't got no nothing like that, you know? But if somebody wants to just get in contact with me, hit me up. I, I'll give you something, give a shit, you know? Now you just got to throw man sticker packs together and just say it on your IG real quick and just get that bread real quick because people want you, your shit for their collection. No, I know they, they do hit me up. Like people have hit me up with, with 
money figures that kind of blew me away. You know, some of these people, I'm like, really? Like, but it's cool. Like, I guess, but you know, I mean, I don't, I don't have no website. I don't advertise or nothing. Nice. Well, so have you seen anybody new in the tunnels lately that, that, that came out of nowhere? Everybody. I mean, everybody's, it's, it's you don't get arrested no more. It's no, there's no, there's no penalty. So everybody's in the tunnels. They, they, you know what I mean? Like, like the tunnels are completely filled with graffiti now. There's no, it's, it's completely different. So I can't really say this person, that person, because you have like 50 different people now that are, that are running the tunnels. So you can't say that. It's, it's much different from my day when you only had five people you could name who were doing things. Ooh, it's true. There's a lot of people right now. And they, but they're making new tunnels. There's a lot of new tunnels. I, 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 I was in like some new tunnels and I seen um, a few niggas in there. A couple of niggas said, shit, is all brand new. It's, it's like open for game and shit. I was like looking at that shit like, wow. Shit was crazy. New York is expanding the underground, my nigga. Yeah, they definitely had a few ones that they opened up. Like the when they did the Second Avenue one. Um, you know, they're, they're, it's pretty cool. Like it's, it's. I, I love New. You know, we have the largest subway system in the world, so I, I, it's beautiful. You get to explore it. It's got so much. There's a lot of shit underground that they, they didn't even finish. You know, you got all different like catacombs and shit. They got underneath, underneath the tunnels, and it's a lot of history under there. Did you do a lot of Manhattan tunnels? Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Manhattan was one of my favorite ones to do, especially in the early '90s, in the mid '90s. I, that was one of my favorite ones to do. Brooklyn and Manhattan were my favorite. Yeah, what line on, in the Manhattan? Like the N and the R, the four, five, six? Uh, mostly it was back in then. I would say it was primary. It was a lot of them, but I would say I focused more on, say, the N, the R, the Q. Um, a little bit of the four and the five and the six. But Manhattan was always nice, though. I always liked that because there was a lot of different layups with the trains. And I wouldn't go to necessarily to hit the clean trains because it, I, we would just hang out there. And it was like we would hang out in the trains itself. If we hit the trains that day, we hit the trains that day. Sometimes we'd just be hanging out, like especially with Canal Street over in there. Like, you know, we, we used to just straight up chill. Like, I swear to you, I'd bring like a fucking blimpy sandwich. We'd be chilling in the park trains right there, like just chilling. Like it was nothing. Can't really do that now. They think you're a terrorist or some shit. You're sitting there with a fucking sandwich. You think you're retarded or something. <laughs> yeah, well, those are the fucking good old days, bro. Because I used to do the same shit. Cut out of a junior high school, sixth grade, and go to fucking um, Halsey. Halsey, you know, where, like, the train yeah, comes yeah. out. Yeah. Feeding and shit. Yeah, we used to go there and cut out the whole day and drink 40s and all types of yeah. shit. Yes, and that shit was so fun, my nigga. Oh, so yeah, cutting school is because we had it different. Now nobody gives a fuck if you cut school. Nobody gives a shit. But back then they had the truant squad. They round your little ass up. They had the paddy wagon that would come around. You'd be in your yep. arcades. You'd be in a mall. They'd come and physically scoop you up. Yep, they took me. They got we would me show the tunnels. We'd be in the tunnels because the truant squad wouldn't go in the tunnels. <laughs> yep, that's a fact, my nigga. I got I to gotta pick, pick your graffiti brain now. So who, who, who do you do? You, you got to give me 10. Give me 10 of your favorite writers of all time, bro. Yeah, 10? I mean, basically, like the people I said in the beginning, that they kind of, I, I mean, I don't, because I would have to say the people that, that, that I first got inspired with, right? Like, so, but there's a few yeah. people that I like that don't even, that I wasn't even around. Like, for instance, Scene. I really give him a lot of credit because yeah. he had the mindset of a bomber and he really locked shit down. You know, he held it down. So, you know, I there's there's people. You know, I I like um, Ghost. You know, R D. You know, they the way that they had different things. You know, you had um, like I said, Frey. He was a big inspiration for me when I was a young kid growing up. I would see him all around downtown Brooklyn, and you know that that I was really that would hype me up. You know, I would see Leo Seg, um, A C C. You know, I would see M S Dro, uh, Netta, Ask. I would even see you. I remember you. I would come to Bushwick. I would see you. I would see you. You had the the squiggly tag though, the different <laughs> thing, the different hand style. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Seeing, I remember. Wow, there, there was a lot of people. Yes, and um, Brooklyn to me, I lo I just love Bronx is dope to hit the streets because it's just so it's a lot. 
It's beautiful. I hit the Bronx like eight eight million times, but Brooklyn, I just the Bronx don't even care. Like they, there's been times where I'll tell you, like there's been times like um, I've been in the Bronx, like in the mid '90s, where people saw because I was a white guy that they they just were like, "Oh, you need help," so like I'm here bombing, and like the police will be like, "Oh, do you need help or anything?" And they just keep going, like it's fucking retarded. Like, like back then it was like they didn't. They didn't give a shit. They either thought I was buying crack or whatever the case was going on, but but I would just be like I'd be dolo walking around like tree mining stuff and like I swear to you, like like I never forget it. Like police walk right up to me, they stop the car. Are you okay? I'm looking at them, like, what do you mean am I okay? But then I realized why they said that to me. But then as soon as they leave, I just keep hitting the gates. <laughs> That's what's up though. But I was That's I think it was like ninety six and ninety five, somewhere around here. That's what's up. What's, what do you have a favorite year of of graffiti? Like the your your best year? No, I can't say I have a favorite one. I mean, it's there's a lot of good ones. I mean, I, I like the whole the '90s, early 2000. You know, I mean, I had a lot of good times, and now now I don't really have that best of times with it because it's it's not as fun as it was, I guess, for me back then. But you know, back in the early '90s, the whole the whole '90s, I'd say from '90 to '99. Yeah, I think that's yeah, the you best. Can't go wrong with the 90s. Word, I think it had the 90s had the best writers. I think I don't, I don't know. Well, you have to think too because the punishments were more severe. So you know, when you when you got bagged, like they, you know, you really had to 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 be tough to to. You know, it wasn't like today where you know and shit don't happen to you. You don't even go to you don't even go to bookings these days. You know, so you know back then it was it was more tough. Like they really came in on you. Now they have such an abundance of people that write, they can't even keep up with it. Yeah, man. that That's true. But it's, do, do you think it's a lot of trash out there more than good graffiti right now? No, I, I think it's a lot of good. I think it's mostly good in my opinion, but it's just, it's an abundance of it. You know, it's too, it's a lot of it. So with that, they can't keep up with that. But I, most of the graffiti I see today is cool. I don't, I don't look down on most of it. Like most of it has style. They get up. Most of the people get up. So I can't talk bad about them at all. They're doing their thing. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah, me too. I think, I think a lot of them took it to a higher level because now they're hitting like high spots, doing giant blockbuster fill-ins on. Well, you see, it's like life. Look, look at everything in life. Everything gets pushed to the envelope. You, everything in general, you murder everything. You know, every every year, everything gets gets pushed. The bar gets pushed further. When when me and you were coming up, there was no jetpacks. No, we had to. When I would do those, those high spots on the end lines and queue lines and shit, I had to break out the wooden ladder. You know, I, we didn't have no jetpacks and nothing like that. We had to we had to get the wooden ladder. So, you know, now they have extinguisher cans. They, they use fire extinguishers themselves. You know. They use mad different shit, like like so. It's it's a lot of the tools are upgraded too. Yeah, when we used to hit, um, we 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 needed to use the wooden ladder, like on transit. We would set it up like the day before shit, or or, or earlier in the day, put the wooden ladder up there on the track. So when we go in the night, we could just grab it real quick. The wooden ladder, yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, the MTA workers, the the work bums are always good for leaving equipment, man. They're like my silent partner. Like I like them. Yes, sir. The wooden ladders. I used to love um, walking on the tracks too, the elevated tracks to go from roof to roof. Oh, yeah, they were sturdy because you could put them, but you can make them like a ramp, like a bridge. Like they were sturdy too. Yeah, man. We 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 took one of those shits one night, man. Me, Turk, um, Seuss, rest in peace, Trake, Trake. I was nice the sense. Peace, yeah, we all, we would hit the end line in Astoria and we were just hitting um, powerhouses and we was using the ladder. We had a great right. night. We destroyed everything, yo. Rest in peace, Seuss and Sense, bro. RTD. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, well, nights like that, like, you you know, you never forget nights like that. Like, you get the adrenaline pumping, you go out, like, a real mission. Like, you know, it's like, you those, those good missions where you really know if you're coming home that night, you know, those good missions. That's a fact. Do you have a favorite bomb or, or a real crazy one that you had mad fun or got over crazy? I can't. I don't really want to. I don't feel comfortable talking about, like, the crazy ones, I guess. But, like, the – I'll tell you a funny one. Like, mm -hmm. um, we was doing the um, the F line. I think this is 98, 97 and 98. And I was with my boys, RB, DK, and EA, KMC crew. And – we was on the F line, McDonald Avenue, 
and I had broke my ankle that night. Off, I felt I jumped like off the roof, but I kind of had a bandana around my face so because it was a camera, so I kind of misjudged. So when I jumped, my ankle shattered. So I, I wasn't ready to go home, though. So we still had paint. So I, I was hopping up to the walls and stuff, and I was in so much pain. But then all, I couldn't walk no more. So then all B, my boy, he threw me like in a fireman's carry. So the train station was like maybe like three or four more blocks down. So he's I'm pointing up to the walls of where I want him to direct to go to so I could hit. So I'm in the fireman's carry with a broken ankle still hitting the walls while he's taking me up to them. So then we went up to the train. And that was good. I was out of service for about probably like two months for that. Wow. Yeah, shit. I, 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 I got chased by the police, got mad hurt, running from the police off of rooftops and all that shit. Fucked my whole shit up. I mean, I've had some some very interesting chases. I don't feel comfortable really talking about it, but, but I mean, I've had some fun chases with the police, though. Trust me. I've, they, I've definitely had some some experiences out there. Yeah, that was another thing too. Hitting the like the outside tunnels in the in the end line, like in Brooklyn, like the the outside tunnels, the end and the R line and shit. That was fun too. Back in the days when I was mad young, like twelve, thirteen, those were one of the first shits I hit. Oh yeah, they, the layups are there too. You had layups around there, and you had you had some good stuff around there. Just all overall chill tunnels because you didn't really have to worry too much. There really wasn't much traffic coming through there. You could chill. You could post up. You had a black book session. You could do basically whatever you want down there. Chill. I mean, we, we'd have full blown. We'd hold court down there. Real talk. That's fire, man. I want to go chill in the tunnel now. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, said so, uh, a fucking. Yo, so just what, let me know. Let me know. Yeah, man. We got to take a walk one day, man. For real. We definitely got to link and do this, this sticker shit, bro. And some fucking canvases or something. Yeah, let me know. I got, a, I got, I just got, I just got my hands on a ton of blank canvases. I got about twenty blank canvases right now. Oh, we could definitely do. I got, I got paint, all of that shit. I got paint, brushes, all of that bullshit. I got it. Oh, Get your Bob Ross on. I like that. Get the Bob Ross on, bro. Graph champs, my nigga. Yo, son, we, we. The reason, like, we wanted you on Graph champs is because, yo, son, you really like. A goat in the in them tunnels in the whole transit scene and like we 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 trying to give you your flowers while you're here and shit. So we salute and respect every move that you make. You know what I'm saying? So we just want to let it be known and shit. You heard? Much appreciated, man. Thanks. You know, I'm a very humble guy. You know, but I, I do appreciate that. I really do. Thanks a lot, man. Salute. Nah, man. Salute to you for putting in that work and representing New York graffiti culture to the fullest. Because there's a lot of you know shit out there, niggas that that are trying to get money off of this shit that don't even deserve to be like mentioned in circles. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I see. I mean, I see. You know, I try as I get older because I try to see like, you know, a lot of people use the word hate, so it's like I try to give people the benefit of doubt, but I do see people that will use graffiti in a way to try to make money when they never really paid their dues, it does offend me because I, my, what I put my mind and my body through, you, you, you know, you didn't do that. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, but, but then if I say something negative, I'm hating on them. So it's like, I don't, you know, so it's like, but at the end of the day, I look, I, I wish everybody the best and do, do your thing, man. As long as you don't come at me in a negative way or I don't feel disrespect, I don't give a fuck what you do, you know? That's a fact. That's a fact. And um, the part of Brooklyn that you're from, too, like, that you came out of and shit, like, niggas like Rush and, De you know, Deco and Dune. Oh, yeah, like Deco. Said, the whole ACC crew, yeah, Acid Crew, ACC, um, a lot of them. Like, I saw a lot, you know, they, of course, you know. I mean, it's all up and down there, all up and down there. Yeah, all of those dudes from that side, yo. I love all the writers from that side. Fritz, like you said, Frey, oh, rest in Fritz, peace. Of course, yeah. I would see Fritz definitely on the B line rooftops. It's the it's the um the D line now, but when I was a kid on New Trick Avenue, it was the B line. Fritz would have a lot of rooftops. Yeah, Fritz. I just love talking old school graffiti like that because when I see the like I look through Instagram and shit, and you see the old school pictures and shit of the gates. Yo, man, the Astros, the Chinos, you know what I'm saying? When yeah, it comes Astros to the another one. I remember seeing that. Yeah, Astro, Fogs, fucking TK. Yep, Easy and Astro, Chino. Fogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the streets, bro. Fucking Easy and Jaws, of course. Josh 5, the, the blueprint. And then, um, 
Ever and Dover, you got to give them credit too. Ever is very underrated yeah. in my opinion. He's yeah. one of the, he's a goat. I definitely, bro, Ever. I definitely saw Ever a lot when I was a kid. Ever is one of them niggas, bro. <clears throat> he just, he, whenever he wants to come out, he'll just come and just smash whole NYC with just giant tags everywhere. Oh, definitely, definitely, yeah. He, t he took the giant tags to a different level, bro, because Astro used to crown the whole top of the gates real big, and then Ever came and just took it to a whole different level, bro. I used to oh, bond yeah. with him. <clears throat> yeah, Ever was a goat. It was rare with the, like, Back then, I remember we used to call it like the baseball jiff, the fat cap. Like, it, 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 you know, when you had a dope fat cap, you, you were hard. You know, that was the thing. Like, and, and a lot of people didn't, you know, remember, remember we used to make them too. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you used to take the the little um, the knife and, yeah, you flick the, the jiff and you, 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 you do surgery on it. You can screw out the shit. We used to do shit like that. We, we would make jiffs. Yeah. You know, I mean, we, we used to, it was pretty cool. Like, there was some unique things. And then also, from taking other shit, you, you would notice the different GIFs on other cans. That they, they do other things on, on things. So you, you could really work that out. Yep, and you had to be creative. And like you said, make yeah, your own yeah, mob. It was like an art. Yeah, we, that, that's what was so cool about it. It was almost like cooking or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, it was like, like back when I started, like, I, that's how I grew up in it. Like, like making mops, make, making, getting, getting Griff and getting, getting all types of stuff and, boiling shit together doing taking socks and erases and all types of trial and error shit like you know you i wasted try i went through a lot of clothes at the trial and error <laughs> yeah, I'll wait, tell you I this, bill and i'd be proud of me i'll tell you that shit <laughs> <laughs> yo but at the same time that was the fun part of it being the chemist yeah, being yeah, the scientist you come up with shit because there'd be times where you because because you know, we'd all meet like like the, the the one crew that I was with when I first started. Like that was like a real. It was almost like a gang in a way. It was like a, a real family, and we would have meetings and shit. And it was like we would meet up and we would have like different. You know, we compare notes. We'd say, "Oh, I did this with this," and you know, "I I did this," and and some things worked, some things didn't. But it was it was the networking which was really cool. You know, it really helps advance you. So uh, we didn't even talk about BRH. BRH is your crew, right? Yeah, it's a book club that I got. Books read hourly. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. How, no. how did that? How did that? How did, started, how did, how did... Um, that started with me and uh, a friend of mine, Depps. We started that in 1993. Um, basically, um, we just noticed that all the the people had different crews and stuff, and. We just wanted to make our own just for not necessarily protection, but just to, to, to have your own thing, you know, it's your own thing. So when it first started, it really wasn't a graffiti thing. It was more of just like, a, a you know, a social thing, you know, like you just hang out, you take care of each other, this and that. And then, then when it started, to, we started to really me, him and a few other people we, we were writing at the time. So we're like, you know, all right, so we'll, we'll take it. We'll because we, we wrote it on the walls, too. So why not? You know, now it's a graffiti crew. So. We just made different acronyms for it, you know, and then it stuck, you know. Nice, nice, nice. BRH, I just wanted to mention because, you know, um, a, the crew is synonymous with the writer, you know what I mean? So I just wanted okay. to make it clear so, so the fans know and shit. Do, do, yeah. do you have a favorite paint for the tunnels? Because, you know, a lot of fucking um, tunnels suck your paint up, my nigga. A lot of people don't fucking yeah, know that. A lot, of, a lot of trial and error. You know, um, back in the day, we used to use my favorite growing up was touch and tone. Remember that shit? Because the touch and tone in the early 90s, they used to have the fat. It, that, the, see, out of all the cans, the, the red, the, the, the black. Yeah, it, the touch and tone had the white cap. The, it, it came with a fat cap. The GIF was fat on it already. So we used to love touch and tone. Like a lot of my early stuff in the tunnels from the early 90s is touch and tone. You know, but then you see like other people, they... um. They have, like, you have, um, and Krylon's dog shit now, but you have, like, Rusto got some some type of chrome that's pretty good, you know. Um, it, a lot of the paint now, like, a lot of everything is watered down, you know. Like, same thing with laundry detergent. Everything is, is you know, it's everything's watered down. It's just everything's concentrated two times better. It's all bullshit, you know. It's all, it's watered down. Like, even look at the Krylon, the Krylon's dog shit now, you know. Well, a couple colors do work, 
depending on what your job is, what you're doing with it. But for the most part, it sucks. What What about um um kills kills? Well, kills will always be good. That's pretty good. You know, kills is good. I like kills. I'm so, unofficially so, fond about them. I like them. What's the what? So, what's the best one? Would you recommend for the train? Because I I I got caught out there before went, going to the tunnel and they sucked my pain up. Well, I don't know. I mean, if I say that, then everybody's going to want to use that. You know, like I, I say, look, it's trial and error. You use whatever the fuck you want to yeah. use. <laughs> like, I mean, there's, there's been times where I've been down in the tunnel too. Trust me, I've been frustrated, right? I've been, um, I went, I, I told Hojo this story right after I, or after I did, I, I hit him up, right? So I was by myself and I go down there, but the can sucks, right? Like, like I, I had a whole rack of the same type of can. It was a Krylon Silver, whatever the fuck it was. They sucked, right? I threw that shit in frustration against the wall, and I walked out of the tunnel because they don't do a goddamn thing down there, you know? So you go through trial and error. You you, you see what works. You do, you know, you hang out, uh, you know, just, I don't know. I mean, just stretch your legs and see what happens. That's a fact, my nigga. <laughs> so, um, what, so what do you feel? So you feel like the graffiti now is good, you said, right? Yeah, I have no, I'm not hating on nobody. I, I mean, I look at it like this. Uh, it's just, it's, 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 it's a different time. You know, it's the same thing with my generation, with my father's generation, the generation before that, you know, everything with music, with everything pu pushes the envelope, it raises the bar. So it, there's going to be a lot of shit that the people do now that I, I didn't do, but, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean I have to think it's bad or anything. It's just they're doing what they're doing. It's just, it's, I'm not, I'm not part of this era. I'm not part of this generation. So, it's not really correct for me to put them down because I'm not from them. People from their generation got to put them down. You know, I can only speak for my generation, you know, but it's cool. I mean, don't get me wrong. This shit that these kids got now is pretty fucking cool. I see dudes with fucking drones that spit paint. Like, like people got from crazy fucking shit. Like, you know, these motherfuckers yeah. using fire extinguishers, you know, like, like shit like that. Like, Players, they, they be out there doing shit like crazy shit. The drones with the paint, fucking, that's crazy shit. Like you know, like that is crazy shit. Well, uh, what about um? Te did you ever see Texas and Gain on the side of a building, real big? Yeah, they do those. Um, they do the rollers. I see that a lot. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That shit is amazing to me. Niggas get bag catching a market tag, and they're doing sides of whole buildings. Sometimes the best disguise is out in the open, you know. I mean, sometimes you know you got to think. It's it, obviously if you got if you got a couple hours to kill up on a roof with extended rollers, you're doing it out in the open, so you don't have permission to do it. So, you know, you just people just more automatically think, you know, like look at how you know d different people do do different things like that. They do shit out in the open, you know. Sometimes it's the best way to do it. <laughs> That's a fact. They see that shit happen and they think they, that they fucking got permission. That's crazy. So I was like, yo, them shits are just so crazy, my nigga. But fucking, um, I, do you, do you have anything else you want to say before, before we get off this, my nigga? Yeah. Um, rest in peace to my boy, Josh Random, man. That's, that's a sad thing right there. He had died. I got a lot of friends that had died, but that one hit me the most, you know, that that one hurt a lot. So Josh Random, man, from my Baltimore family, two three seven KSDK crews, all of them. All my my New York City family, you know everybody. Um, RD D three three fifty seven Hojo Acid, uh, you know. If I missed uh, you, I didn't miss you. Trust me, I've had like two twelve, two six packs. So if I missed you, it ain't on purpose, man. I'm feeling good at tonight. You know, it's a nice rainy night. I'm just enjoying myself. I love everybody that loves me, of course. If you don't love me, fuck you. You know, but life is good. <laughs> That's right, my nigga. And yo, we thank you for blessing us with the gems, man. And you know, the fans was asking for the Tunnel Kings. I gave it. I delivered. You heard? We delivered. Definitely. You heard it first from Bow, my nigga. That's what's up, man. So, yo, um, like I said, we 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 love everything you've done for the culture. We salute you. You know what I'm saying? Um, like he said, he, 
if if anybody want to stick a pack from Bow, you could DM him. He's not advertising them, but he will do them if you DM him because I know there's collectors out there. That's why I'm promoting it. You heard, my nigga? Yeah, or or I got to give a shout out to my homie, um, my main brother right there, Phasm Four. You could hit him up too. Phasm Four, yeah, salute, salute, Phasm Four. You know what I'm saying? I got some of his stickers in my collection too. I still got the stickers. I still got the stickers, bow that we did so many years ago. I still got them, bro. Oh, that's nice. I remember that. Yeah, that was nice, man. That was nice. We chill. We did some good shit right there. We'll, we'll do that again, man. Just hit me up, man. Whenever you want, man. We chill. You that's know, I'll pop fact. up whenever, man. We're good. Yo, thank you, bow You heard, bro? Thank you anytime, for coming man. up. Anytime, 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 man. Thanks, man. Have a good one, man. Ah, uh, you too, bro. You got to ask good, yourself. Man. All right, man. Draft champs, baby. That was draft champs. That was Val B R H, the Tunnel King. We had Z B, the Placement King. I thank everybody for um tuning in. I seen a lot of legends in the building. A lot of people in the comments, you know. Um, salute Sunny Rain. Salute my nigga Bag Boy. Salute all my my supporters. That's always there from day one. Salute Aim. I see you. BHC, I salute, I, I salute to everybody, my niggas. You heard, yo, A ones, salute to you, my nigga. I'ma holla at you. Um, who y'all want to see next? Who who y'all want to see next? Salute demos. You heard, I see you, my boy. I see you. Who y'all want to see next? Who y'all want to see next? <clears throat> I got, I got some, Man. I got some shit lined up. So, yo, salute, Roach. Yo, salute, Damp. I'ma holla back at you, my nigga. Um. Yo, Roach, what's up? Um, I'm going to holler at you too, Roach. So one of these days, I got the them pins. I want to get these pins off for of you, bro. If you still got them, I want to, you know, I want to add some shit. I want to add your shit to my collection. Yo, thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in and shit. Um, in a couple weeks, we'll have the next episode. Ooh, look at that. He said, Dink, Senna, or Dem. <clears throat> Yes, I would love to have Dink. Ooh, my, yo, salute Mike from Queens. You heard? He said RN. Yo, that's good. RN too. Oh, my nigga fucking um, salute my nigga Hawkeye. He says special draw and dusk. Oh, that's beautiful too. Look, Dink would be fire. Hell yeah, Dink would be fire. The original ACC. Dexa. Oh, you're the second person that said that. Yo, salute Bow. Cheers, my nigga. For real. Oh, look, I think he said boner. Is that boner? He's so bad. Who y'all want to see? Who y'all want to see? Let me know, baby. Let me know. I got some shit for y'all niggas lined up. Look, he said less. Map. Yo, map, I'm hollering at you, boy. Remo. Remo. Salute to all them niggas. Salute to my nigga Remo. I see my DFA family was in the building before. I see my nigga Skay. My nigga Skay was in the building before. I see niggas popping in and out. Oh, he says Saint TMR. Oh, I wish... I could get in contact with that nigga. How could I get in contact with Saint TMR? Nigga said Gano. Do you mean the original Gano? Yeah, yeah, I do mostly. Oh, yeah, bag boy, I do mostly just NYC niggas because that's where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? The, that's what, you know, niggas that impacted my city. But if it's an outsider, I'll, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, an, uh, uh, an outsider that, 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 came to New York City and destroyed shit, let's say like Kuma or someone like that. Yeah, I would do like Kuma. I would do like uh, Attic and Gusto and of course Louis, BTM. You know, they came through and killed shit. Um, if niggas came from out of town and destroyed shit like any of the niggas that I just made, named, I would do them. Viking and Saw. I don't know who's Viking and Saw. I got. I got to look at. I, I don't think I seen them niggas. Not saying that they didn't come to New York and you know what I mean. I don't know, but but I'd be everywhere and I haven't noticed that bag boy. I don't know. 
and shit. Look, Deco and Rush. Deco and Rush. Hell yeah. Salute to my nigga Rush, bro. Rush, yeah, I'm, uh, I've been talking to Rush. Shit, SAR, old school, the master blaster, hell yeah. Yup, I think you are right. The SAR is the 70s. Wow. The SAR is one of them niggas. Oh, salute, Fasm 4, I see you. I see you, my boy. Almighty Supreme said, motherfucking Nairo. Hell yeah, yo, salute, Nairo. Nairo, I wish I could get Nairo and Dart, both of them, right? I mean, I could try, you know what I'm saying? Salute, Nairo is a, he's a good one. Nairo is a good one, too. Salute, yo, salute my niggas, RD. Salute my niggas, Trap. I seen you, Trap. I see you. I salute my niggas, RD357. Salute the niggas, Trap, IF. Salute fucking um, Chino, BYI. Salute Cost, KRT. So, you know what I'm saying? Salute all, like, you know what I'm saying? Sane and Smith. You know, rest in peace, Sane. You know what I'm saying? Salute, salute my nigga GNS. I see you out there too, my nigga. I see you. Um, yeah, RN. I was talking to RN. I was talking to Rush. You know what I'm saying? Um, he said, bet TFV. I already interviewed Fact TFV. Yeah, salute to you, Trap, bro. You're a fucking goat, my nigga. We love you. You heard? I see all them giant blockbuster pieces you doing. Yo, crazy, my nigga. Keep killing shit. You a goat, my nigga. Um, yeah, salute to everybody, my nigga. All the support and the love is appreciated. Um, I got some dope shows coming up. And nigga said, Dr. Sex. I'm not even going to lie. Dr. Sex, when he, yo, he be doing the fire shit, bro. And Kuma. You see Kuma? That nigga right there is crazy. Kuma is crazy. Yeah, IF. Yeah, man, of course, uh, I wish I could get trapped, huh? Trapped, yeah, what happened to trapped? Yeah, nah, you crazy. I fucking trap as a goat, bro. Um, surf, look, surf. Trap is personally one of my favorites um, of all time. He's up there with, you know what I'm saying? Easy, Jaws. He's just so consistent. Uh, NYC legend, like... And it's not even NYC. You see, that was just raw off top. It's just a, a graffiti legend. And I don't even mean, mean to put him in a graffiti box, too. He's just a le trap. It's just he's his own entity, my nigga. Sick. Dune. Hell yeah, Dune. And Weso. Yeah, I've met Weso before, too. He's mad cool. Dune is a fucking goat, too. Yo. Doom was one of them niggas. I used to, um, Deco and Rush too, bro. I love Deco and Rush. Map and Dink, hell yeah. Map and Dink. Doing and Notice, hell yeah. Doing and Notice. Or Sign, Sign and Aua. Ooh, remember C I N E, Sign? Yeah. <clears throat> Come on, son. JP, of course. Could somebody get JP? Okay. JP? Oh, shit. Donato. Salute, Sight. That nigga said Casino. I mean, Casio. Of course. Casio. Salute. Casio. Salute, boy. Checko. Checko, too. Checko. Rest in peace. Salute to check or rest in peace. My nigga, he says CS, Homer. That's my, that's my nigga right there, Homer, too. Rest in peace. Look, he said Deck, D-E-C-K, with the blockbusters. Remember Deck with the blockbusters? He, Deck, one thing I loved about Deck with the blockbusters, he always represented PG. Everything that he did, he represented PG. You know what I'm saying? And he always put PG's name up, and I respect him for that. Salute, Deck. A w, WGF. Yeah. Flash. Hell yeah, I would like to get Flash. That's he said one. 
He said, baby, 168, flash. Yeah, that's a catch. Salute, my buddy. He's, ooh, set up. Set up is dope, nigga. Spray. Spray, hell yeah, young spray. Nigga said, base guard. Base guard. Scope and nuke. Tunnel niggas. And, and and transit niggas, niggas from down there, Park Slope, around there, area, right? Yo, them niggas right there, nice, dope. Interview, oh shit, A1 said an interview with SRMBK, oh shit, that's coming, that might be coming soon, boy. That might be coming soon. I have to spill all the beans. Spray, that's right, spray, RBV. Salute to Young Spray. He be killing New York City, nigga. Yeah, catching yeah. all the stupid spots. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, somebody else just um, um my, my nigga back boy says Spray. Yeah. And shit, yeah. yeah you killing New York. Put yeah, put was in the building today. So, salute to put and shit. Vertical shit. You heard? And so hell yeah. And so rescue, salute to my nigga rescue. I bombed, oh. I bombed the rescue before. Paul, oh. it's us. I'm Caden Paul, yeah, son. Caden Paul, Caden Paul. Know what it is? Rebo. And so is up. Hell yeah, Zam too. Word. It's a lot of niggas. Five M H. The whole five M H. The whole five M H. The whole plague. Salute to the whole five. So salute to the whole R F C. Salute to the whole D F A. Salute to the whole U two K. Two devious C M. You heard? D F A. T B K. My nigga Ed. You heard? K O C. My nigga Dom. Salute. Always, all of those crews, KGB, salute. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, near All my TDO niggas, salute. You know what I'm saying? Of course, my family, KED, DTF, Nova Team, HL, High Life. You know what I'm saying? BCS, MTA, my nigga Dessa and all of my niggas. You heard Giz, FTR, of course. You know, that's, that's all of, you know, SNR, these are all the first crews that I was ever pushing. I will forever rep, always. You heard? Of course, MBK, my niggas, yo, easy, easy. You see my nigga, easy one right there? That nigga was MBK before I was MBK. Yeah. That's a fact. Salute to all, all my niggas. Salute to the whole TMP squad. This is a salute to all the fallen soldiers and shit. That was Grav Champs, my nigga. Um, hit me up. The niggas want pins, sticker packs, t-shirts, merch, whatever it is. Just hit me up. DM, you know what it is. I'm gonna get to all y'all niggas. Yo, salute for the support. Thank you, my niggas. Everybody, that was Rap Champ episode. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm the vertical, 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 vertical. All over your girls' back. Black. You heard one. Uh, what am I doing?